My name is Cindy Bassnett and I'm the volunteer coordinator here at CASA for Kids of Flathead Valley. And if you wanted to get involved with CASA, you would um, contact the office and then we would send you a packet of information. It would explain in detail what our expectations are, uh, the program requirements, um, an overview of what ACOSTA does, a job description, and there will be an application in the packet. Once you fill out the application and return it to us, we will do a screening process. We will invite you into the office to have an interview, and then we will determine the best place for you in our program. Some people might have time, but not money. Those people might be better suited to volunteer in our program as a volunteer or through a short-term commitment. There are several opportunities throughout the year. If people have money but not time, we are always looking for donations and welcome you to get in touch with us if you'd like to contribute in that fashion. Once you decide to get involved with CASA, um, training begins. Training consists of several professionals throughout the community coming in and doing seminars to instruct uh, various aspects of what their positions are in regards to CASA. Also, there is a pretty hefty manual that you will be expected to go through. We'll cover the material in class. It is a total of about uh, 30 to 40 hours of intensive training, so there's no need to be um, concerned about not knowing what to do. We will teach you everything you need to know to do what you're asked to do. Once you've completed training, something exciting happens. You're sworn in by a judge to be a guardian ad litem and a CASA volunteer.